What's going on and welcome to Quick Picks. My name is Tom Vecchio. The NBA play-in games are quickly approaching. We have two on Tuesday, April 11th. I have three picks for those games. Let's jump in. Starting off, the Cavs plus eight and a half. They're on the road. Going up against the Brooklyn Nets, I think this is just too many points for the Cavs to be getting. I ultimately think the Nets are going to come away with the win, but I'll like, I'd like the Cavs to cover. The Nets at home this season have been terrible against the spread. 8-27-1 at home for an overall record of 33-47-2. Just not a good record against the spread. The Cavs on the road, they were 19-16-2 against the spread. And overall, they were 42-37-3. So I like the Cavs to cover in this game. I like the Nets to win. We've seen the Cavs cover in three of their last five games in the regular season, while the Nets were only at two. They just haven't been covering games, and I'll take the points with the Cavs. I also lean on the under, which we'll get to in a minute. Another game where I'm leaning the under would be the Timberwolves hosting the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. This game is thinking of a 230 points. I think that's just too many. The T-Wolves have you know, been a strong over-under team this season in the grand scheme of things, but at home specifically, they're 20-21 and 21 when it comes to their over-under record, and the Clippers on the road, they're 17-23-1 for their over-under record. Minnesota, while they're first in the league in offensive pace, the Clippers are 18, so a pace down spot for Minnesota could lead to lower points, combined with the fact that both teams are in the top half of the league when it comes to defensive efficiency. The Clippers are up at 8th, and the Timberwolves, surprisingly, are at 13th in the league, so I'm expecting a slower game from the Timberwolves, and it certainly means less points overall. I like the under at 230. And then finally, Kevin Durant's over 7.5 rebounds. That's sitting at plus 100, even money. He had nine or more in three of the past four games to end the regular season. This goes along with the fact that I'm leaning the under. If I'm leaning the under, that means we're going to be seeing more rebounds because of the more missed shots. And I'll take Durant at over 7.5. Frankly, the Nets are going to need him to step up as he's done in some of these recent games and hit the over on 7.5. That, again, correlates with the under in the game overall. So I'm going with Durant over 7.5 rebounds at even money. All right, so that does it for today's quick picks. We'll be back with more for the rest of the playing games this week.